Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to embed Power BI report in PowerPoint. This is going to be an interesting video. Those who are presenting the report every month by copying um, your data from your Power BI report, every time it will be irritating. So this video will help you to speed up your work. You no need to repeat actual uh, copying of your data. Let's try to understand how to do it. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI, Fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, please do it. That will help me to do more. So we are in Power BI now. Let's try to embed this particular report into PowerPoint so that whenever the data changes in this report that will automatically reflect in your PowerPoint. So let's go to PowerPoint and usually you see option insert in your latest versions insert Power BI. If you are not seeing it go to home and do the add-ons. Okay this will give you the Power BI add-in. Now go to this um, over here you have a URL and then click on insert once you have this one this will embed whatever we have seen in your power bi services into this particular report now you can able to see this is more interactive when you click on any other uh, slicers or any other uh, charts it is more like whatever you do it in your power bi services so this is fantastic right now i want to highlight certain options in this particular report or the power bi embedding option in powerpoint these are the three main options let's try to dive more into live data we don't want to look much into snapshot that is very useful in certain case let's try to check what is live data is when you click on live data it will be actually uh, as the name indicates we thought like it will be uh, synced with the uh, power bi service but sometimes it will not so you need to get the latest data by using this refresh button so that it will all the uh, visuals will get refreshed and we can see this option that is reset start over with your data what is this option is before that let's go to here and then try to reduce the size right uh, let's say i want to change i mean there is some structural changes happen in this report so <clears throat> the previous option gets the data so this reset option gets the structural changes any changes happened in your uh, services that will get reflected we reduce the size that has reflected here this is this option and here it's outline uh, forget about it it's a very uh, minor thing and we have a clear data meaning if you want to embed any other report then you can do so then this option is very interesting like while you are presenting in the slide you want to uh, wait for 10 seconds 20 seconds you want to see the live any uh, live data changes right then you can use this automatic refresh in the slideshow this option meaning like you are uh, viewing the subscribers code or uh, number of uh, users logged in uh, you are expecting some 100k users logging in now those kind of stuffs you can able to present it from the powerpoint itself so this is this option so with the live data you have a lot more option when you go to the snapshot what it does is it doesn't do any interactivity at that moment when you do the snapshot at that moment whatever data was there it will be freezed so you have the um, no more options in the data side or reset view side snapshot is like at that moment while you do the snapshot what was the value and there is a, a minor difference i think snapshot show an image of power bi data to people with existing access meaning like existing access in the sense with the uh, whatever access they get it in the power bi in the public snapshot they don't need to have access to the power bi but they will see the image i hope that is the difference 
but i prefer those who uh, want to use this feature you go with the live data that will help you to get the uh, data at the latest data without you need to do repeatedly uh, every month or every week whenever you have a meetings i hope that is the most important feature if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so to support this channel